does a low dose of Accutane have less side effects? That's the question that we're going to answer today. Welcome, I'm Dr. Arthur Kolsky, founder and medical director of Advanced Acne Institute, and we're a dermatology practice that specializes only in the treatment of acne, so that's all we do. And we like to offer our experience and insights with acne sufferers who are navigating the path toward clear skin. We hope you find this information useful, but this is only for educational value. This is not meant to be medical advice. So today we're gonna to answer the question, does a low dose of Accutane have less side effects? Let's start by discussing how do we determine the dose of Accutane? So typically it's based on a patient's weight. So the greater a patient's weight, typically the more Accutane that patient gets. However, in reality, different practices typically use different doses. So some practices use a high dose, some practices use a middle of the range dose and other practices like to use a very low dose. So what are the differences? Why would somebody choose a high dose versus a low dose versus a middle dose? How do you make that determination? Well, if you look at the studies, there are various studies that show different information that can be helpful in deciding what dose is appropriate for each patient. Now, there's no one size fits all when it comes to Accutane treatment and it does depend very significantly on each individual patient's medical history and other circumstances associated with that patient that can dictate whether a patient might need a high dose or a lower dose of Accutane treatment. Now, one of the questions that comes up quite routinely in my practice is, can I take a low dose of Accutane? Because some patients feel that taking a low dose might reduce some of the risks of some of the side effects that they might otherwise experience. And the answer is, there are times when a low dose of Accutane is appropriate. Now, there are some side effects that are dose dependent, which means that the higher the dose, the greater the likelihood of that particular side effect. Now, not all side effects are dose dependent, and some side effects, even with low doses of Accutane, are still possible. So it doesn't completely eliminate the risk of all side effects, but there are some of these dose dependent side effects that can be significantly reduced. For example, Accutane routinely causes dryness in almost all patients who take Accutane. And that dryness can be of the skin, the lips especially get very dry, sometimes the eyes can get dry, sometimes the nose can get dry, and even some patients, not very commonly, but sometimes patients get very dry nose and it can cause even minor nosebleeds at times. So taking a lower dose of Accutane can often help in limiting the risk of these particular side effects of dryness. And we find that patients do significantly better in that context where the dryness no longer is a significant factor in their treatment. And some patients like that. So they like to use a low dose of Accutane. Now there are other dose dependent side effects as well, but as I mentioned, not all side effects are dose dependent. And also not everyone can take a low dose because sometimes a low dose is not effective for some patients. So some patients do require a higher dose before we start to see improvement. And sometimes depending on the body location of acne, for example, sometimes acne on the back or on the trunk versus acne on the face can require a higher dose to get a better response using Accutane treatment. So sometimes a low dose is not as effective, but oftentimes a low dose can be very effective. And many patients, even using a very low dose, can start to clear up very nicely. So it's really depending on each person's individual response and their tolerance and other medical factors that we use to determine if we can use a low dose regimen. Now, one of the things that we like to also consider is something called the cumulative dose. So the cumulative dose is a measure of the total amount of Accutane that a patient takes during the course of treatment. And that can be helpful because some studies show that by using a cumulative dose that is high enough, we have a better chance of not having acne return once the treatment is over. So taking a lower dose of Accutane might prolong the duration of treatment until we finally reach that cumulative dose. 
Now that doesn't always apply. There are always patients who respond differently. Some patients take Accutane for a very short course and they do just fine, whereas others need to take Accutane for a much longer course. And there are some patients who are just more resistant to treatment, no matter how the course of Accutane is delivered, and they tend to constantly relapse and they need to repeat the treatment sometimes. So a lot of different variables come into play when deciding about the course of Accutane treatment regarding the dose given.